This is a video on how to replace the rollers in a Great Lakes window sliding door. In order to replace the rollers, you must first remove your door. Pop out the lower end of the interlock trim piece and with help from someone else, lift the panel up and out of the frame. Tug the trolley of the roller down so you can access the removal screw. Now you can unscrew the roller cartridge and pull it out of the door. This is a tank tread style roller. The little beads inside tend to break or fall out and they don't make tank tread rollers anymore. So we're going to replace them with a steel tandem roller assembly. These new rollers are a bit longer though in size than our original rollers so we have to cut out about an inch of the vinyl on the bottom to enlarge the mortise so it will fit our new rollers. We're using a fine tool to get most of it out and finishing it off with a chisel. Just get that chunk out. Now because the new rollers are shorter than the original ones, we need to use a spacer bar or shim in the mortise to put these rollers in the right spot. Slide it clear back into the original mortise, lining up the screw holes. Insert the roller assembly next, lining up the holes and screw in place. Use a screwdriver to raise the roller assembly wheels up by turning counterclockwise. Do this same process to both rollers. You must replace both rollers at the same time so the door panel sits even in the frame. Once you have the door panel back in the frame, use a screwdriver to adjust the rollers again, turning clockwise to raise the panel in the frame so it glides smoothly. Make sure you raise both sides to the same amount. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website at www.allaboutdoors.com.